What's going on YouTube? You should already know who it is by now. Your boy Wiz back again with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over proper deadlift form. So you guys know that I'm all about my compound exercises and for the longest time, I could never understand why sometimes when I do the deadlift, it went well, and sometimes when I do the deadlift, my back would be in excruciating pain. I wouldn't be able to push as much weight. My reps felt off. I pretty much came to discover that the adjustment and the form lies in the glutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get into a commentary explaining what you need to do to perform the exercise in the right way. So I'm about to hit you with this commentary right now. Sit back and enjoy. In three, two, one, let's get it. Hey, what's up, people? Welcome to the commentary section of this video. So I wanted to start it off by showing you some bad reps of the deadlift. As you can see, as I'm doing this deadlift, my back is very rounded, meaning that I'm using my lower back actually to complete the exercise, which is the wrong way to do the exercise. I'm not using my legs at all. I'm just essentially bending at the waist and pulling the weight up with my lower back. Here I am again doing the exact same thing with the heavier weight, just doing it slower. As you can see, I'm not even setting up correctly. My lats aren't engaged. My lower back is doing all the work and my legs are pretty much useless. Now let's get into the correct way on how to do the deadlift. Now the number one thing that I've learned over the years that helps you set up for a perfect deadlift is when you go down to position yourself into the movement, you need to poke your ass out, not just bending at the waist, rounding your back. When you poke your ass out, you actually build that mind-muscle connection in the hamstrings, which sets you up to use the power in your legs to push up off the ground. Also, with your ass poked out, it prevents you from being able to really round your back and it makes it easier to contract your lats to help you have more power and just a stable base in completing the movement. Now you want to make sure that when you're going down that you're keeping the bar as close to your shins as possible and close to your body as possible at all times. And in addition to that, when you're performing a deadlift, you want to make sure that everything you do from the ground to your knee is done by your legs. You want to be using your legs as your power source when you're coming up. And by the time you get to your knee, you want to transfer that weight from your legs into your hips, thrusting forward, completing the movement. And when you go back down, you want to do the reverse of that. You want to start off with the weight in your hips. And as you go down, by the time you get to your knee, you want to transfer that weight into the hamstrings, thus completing a rep. Now I was actually able to hit a deadlift rep PR, 405 pounds for four reps. And as you can see, I'm setting up for my movement. I got that nice base. My ass is poked out. I'm already feeling that mind muscle connection in my hamstrings. I'm able to push up off the ground with my legs, transferring that weight into my hips. And this is the most comfortable I've ever felt doing the deadlift. I mean, literally it's the next day and I can't even tell that I did deadlifts or back yesterday. Normally when I used to do deadlifts, my back would be in pain. Now I'm able to use that power the right way. I'm able to make deadlift gains and just be successful with the movement. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did like that video, you already know, hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be posting more workout vlogs, more video workout tutorials like this one. Go ahead and check out these videos next to my head, older videos with more workout information. Subscribe to my channel like I said, and I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.